Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again. And today we try to make white beer work. Some of you might still have PTSD from the OPO2, OPO3, OPO4, white beer meta. It wasn't until OPO5 that we finally got ourselves free of Edward Newgate. Now, I'm bringing it back here for some OPO6 gameplay. It's considerably, in my opinion, a lot weaker because there's now so many ways to deal with Marco, right? Marco is not as good of a blocker as he used to be. I still like playing it because there's some colors that cannot deal with this Marco, and it's still good to at least force the opponent to have that Rejet or that Amaru or whatever else. Uh, and then everything else, like if it's, it's just like the opponent can still put this much, like the opponent can put too much pressure these days, right? They can play a Gekko Mora in turn eight and just have like two units in the field that can actually attack into your new gate because Lucy is a 6k, right? Etc. Etc. But let's give it a try. Let's see if we can actually make white beer work. Now this is my list here, and it is a split of straw hats and also white beer pirates. I think I actually play exactly 19 of each that can be searched with each of these, right? So the Nami can search for a 2k counter Sangi. So this 2k counter there is just really good for white beer because obviously we're going to be taking life every single turn. She can search for our one of Nico Robin, and this is here more like a tech. It's really nice against Rebecca, right? It can just KO the Rebecca blocker with no issue. She can search into our Rush Luffy, which is one of the key parts of this deck. This Rush Luffy being able to get through opponent's blockers once you get into zero life is how you're gonna be able to win a lot of your games with this deck. And even if you don't put the two down on it, just having this rush unit is very important because it gets you value right away and forces the opponent to give you a 2k or take a life. So even after the Luffy gets killed by the opponent's removal, you still got value from it. We also have this rush Sandy that can be searched with the Nami. And it's kind of similar to Luffy, except that obviously it doesn't go through blockers. Uh, but it's just another rush card that we can get value with it right away to force the opponent to give us answers. Now, the very key part of Nami is that Nami lets us search for our events. And if you haven't played White Beer before, it's very important for you to have these events because you're going to be a zero life for a big chunk of your of the game. So you need to be able to keep that down to be able to use these events to be able to survive. So we have the four Radical Beams that can get us to 4k. Uh, we have two Bad Manners Kickers, which can let us fix our hand if we get some of these cards that have no counters on them. And then we also have four guard points. So just a little bit weaker radical beam here. And again, these events are very important and Nami lets us search for her. So that's our straw hat version, uh, straw hat half of the deck. On the white beer side, we get to play none other than nine cost new game himself. Now, it's no longer as good as it used to be, but it can still be very powerful in certain matchups. If you can drop this down on turn nine, uh, on your 9 down turn or turn down turn and have your leader become an 8k it's really hard for opponents to be able to deal with that and then you have this big 10k battle in the field that can get rid of any cheap any low power units that the opponent might have that are 3 3k or less iso also searches for a 2k josu and really josu is always going to be just a 2k in this deck there's some edge cases where you can use this rush effect but again mostly just a 2k it lets us search for Ace, which is one of the key cards of this deck. Another Rush card, again, getting us value as soon as it drops down into the field. And it's also nice because if you're going against a board heavy deck, like let's say we're going against a Riju deck, for example, you can always swing back with them using Ace by making two of their units have 3k less power, which can even make some of your Nami or Iso be able to swing into some of the opponent's units. Then we also get to search with this Marco with our ESO, which again is, is a blocker that is not as strong as it used to be, since now it can be removed by Amaru or Reject, right? It can get rested or it can even get rested by a Perona leader, but it's still good enough because again, it can continue coming back. And we have a lot of cards that we don't mind trashing like Ace or Newgate that are non-counter cards in our hand to bring this guy back to the field. And if you bring him back to the field, he could potentially be an attacker that can help you get Polito on your next turn if you don't think that you're going to survive any longer. And we also get to search for the 5 cost Marco, which again, not as strong as it used to be since we don't have that many units anymore that are 3k or less, but it can still be very useful to just 
kill like some random brulettes that you might run into but just more than anything it's just a 6k body on the field that can just push a lot of pressure into the opponent and it, I, actually i guess this is useful because it does kill rebecca so it's kind of like the nico right so so the marker is very good because it can kill rebecca's let's just put it that way i almost forgot about that and that's like a white beer side of the deck just mostly searching for these big bodies with the ESO, while Nami lets us look for more defensive opportunities with the advance. But in case that you need it, you're also able to find a 2k here if necessary, or the opposite with Nami, you can search for some aggression with Sanji or the Luffy. The last card in here is going to be Makino, which is just a 2k counter, but can synergize with a lot of these one drops that we're playing to put even more pressure into the opponent in certain cases where you're just looking to push that extra damage for Nito. So, Again, if you're new to YBM, maybe you started playing this game in OPO5 and OPO6, it's really an aggressive deck, right? The 6k leader lets us just push so much pressure into the opponent because they have to always have a 2k or they take their life or they have to give me two 1ks. So we want to be very aggressive with this deck, and that's why we play all these rushers. So it's like a mix of aggression and defensive. You get to play all these rushers to just put pressure together with your 6k leader. And when you feel like you're at risk of getting killed by the opponent, that's when you leave two or three done open to be able to play this radical beans on guard points, and you have all these two gates. The big benefit is that you have this really big hand size because you're taking a card from your life every single turn. So you end up having like 10, 11 cards very often in your hand it's a plus side and a downside because now there is purple law that can just get rid of your hand right there's also perona that can kind of do the same thing so just be careful when going against those decks uh against moira or against like i guess purple luffy or red purple law you won't be able to play around the block alone unfortunately uh and but uh, around the perona at least you can choose what to trash compared to the purple blocker that can just trash everything. So that is one of the reasons why this deck is not as strong as it used to be, because there's a lot of ways to remove your hand. But I think this deck actually does well against Black, against Sakatsuki, and against Moira, because those decks don't have a lot of 2k counters. Uh, they only play a limited amount of them, so you can continue attacking into them, try to get it down to zero life for this Rush Luffy to come in and seal the game for you and because we're getting value as soon as these rush cards come down it doesn't matter that the opponent can remove the next turn you still got to take a card out of your opponent's hand or take a life from them so this is a very aggressive deck that's how you want to play this red deck and that's that's really the way to do that so that's the deck breakdown here on white beer if you're new to this deck for opio sets today we're gonna have just a video full of games against moira i think we have four different games might, might be might be three three or four three or four games against moira uh, to just kind of show how to pilot against the matchup, even when you have to deal with these Peronas getting rid of your hand. So, hope you enjoy the games coming up soon. If you do, make sure to like the below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the games. In this match, we're going against Gecko Moira. I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. Do we keep this hand? I like the Nami Searcher, but I don't like the rest of my hand. Yeah, I don't like the rest of my hand, so I'm willing to just say okay. We don't get any searching unfortunately. Okay, we got another Nami here. I guess we'll go for we'll go for eight. Have the opponent take this life. We'll go for Nami. We'll grab guard point. Yeah, we'll grab guard point. The Robin is better against like Sakasuki. I guess they also play Rebecca, right? They also play Rebecca here. But what is gonna just play that? Okay, I was gonna I thought we were gonna play the Absalom. All right, I was gonna say you got no way you're gonna play this Absalom, right? Yeah, when it forces me here to trash a card, um, let's give them. We have five next turn. Which one do I want to give them? Do I give them the guard point and take the life? Yeah, let's take it. Let's go like this. We could buff this Nami up. And just play this Marco as a blocker. The opponent will have to attack into the Machina. That's going to be a 2k that I, leave, that I leave on the table, though. The other option is that we just go ahead and attack with Luffy right now. And attack Sits twice. I kind of like this. I kind of like attacking Sits twice here. Let's leave this Nami for later. Give me another 2k counter or find a way to kill this Luffy. Uh, we're going to be a 7 and go down to 1 life. 
I guess we can actually we, we if we protect every single hit going forward, we could actually play this new gate. Uh, the opponent's just gonna play another Perona though, and it's gonna continue continue to kind of mess up my hand. Yeah, they're gonna continue messing up my hand. We have to trash a card here. I think I'll trash one of the Sanjis and give you the 2k. Are you gonna attack for seven? I'm okay giving you another 2k here. I'm okay doing this, yeah. So we could play the Sanji and just have another rusher. Maybe we shouldn't have given up the Mac. You know, actually, you know, let's keep enough for guard point. So let's go like this. Let's go for six. I'm not gonna kill the Perona. I don't want to kill the Perona. Because they're just gonna bring it back and continue messing on my hand. We'll go like this. And we'll keep the one for the radical beam or the guard point. The opponent had to give me two more cards there, and we'll just pass. Next time, we'll play the new gate, keep one life open, and then have this big 10k body to attack into the opponent. They could have a third Perona, I guess, if they wanted to. Yeah, I'm just going to say okay. I'm going to force you to spend more to kill this Luffy. If you want to kill this Luffy, I'm going to make you spend more. If you keep attacking for just sits, that's fine. Be my guess. Okay. I guess we'll give you... Let's give you this Marco. But it has sits done. Ice Age. Okay, so they're going to just go for the Absalom. So this Ice Age went here instead of going into my new gate. So I'm okay with that. We're going to just throw him a guard point here. Yeah, you go Absalom. Boom. Yep, so we're going to give you the guard point. Just chill. Now, okay, the Miners Kick Curse saves me, right? I think I like just going all into their life. Forget about their characters. Yeah, just forget about their characters here. Okay. Oh, wait. I just messed up. <laughs> that was my mistake. I needed to play New Gate first. I attack for six when I could have attacked for eight. So the opponent gets to stay at one life. And if they have blockers now, they're actually going to matter. That's actually going to matter because the opponent's going to stay at one life. Oh, come on, Armando. Ah, oh, I just messed up. I literally messed up. That's so bad for me. Yeah, you can kill this. That's so bad for me. We do have enough ways to, I think, survive for a little bit. But that is actually so bad for me. From me. You could have forced two cards from them. Or have them take the last life. Because again, here they can just go for the blockers. Now, it cannot be Rebecca. So it has to be Borsalino or Savo. Rebecca dies to the new gate. I guess you're gonna I guess if you grab the Savo, that, that's not true. No, they grab Absalom, apparently. You have to have the second Savo in your hand. So two. We have three done. We're gonna get another car, so we can go four, we can go two here, and we can attack for seven. Sure. Yeah, let's go like this. That's gonna force the Borsalino block. Right? We can attack for seven here. Force two cards out of your hand. We know you graph. Okay. And we play Marco. We have three Don for Radical, Radical Guard Point. And we also have one card that we can trash with Kick Curse. Um, I guess opponent has four attacks, but we can block all four attacks unless the opponent goes for like Stitch, Sit, Sit, and then goes for a big one. If they go exactly that way, if they go Sit, 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 and then a big one, they're okay. Really, it, it, it all came down to that one, like, oh, I should have definitely attacked for 8k. Because imagine if I had attacked for 8k, opponent would have had no life. And then we could have gone Newgate and then put everything on this white beard to kill them. They could have another blocker. I mean, we have the blocker Marco, right? So 
The opponent cannot just go sit, 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 and then whatever. Because they have to deal with this blocker marker as well. Now, if the opponent finds two more blockers, again, sits, sits, sits. They have to kill this marker then. Seven. Okay, so that's an easy guard point. So they get three down here, so that's eight. So they already they messed up, right? They go for eight. So if we block here, yeah, we're fine, right? Do we even need to block? We just go radical beam. We don't even need to block. Yeah, yeah, we don't even need to block. Let's go here. I mean, you knew that I had the marker, but I just, I want this marker to stay alive, right? Yeah, I didn't even need to block. The opponent did have Rebecca. So they could have technically gone Rebecca into Savile to protect the Rebecca from the new gate. That gives him two blockers, but the problem, I guess, is that I have two more attackers, right? So opponent would have done that. They would have been able to be left with 2k, 1k, and they could have cycled. Let's say that they get two more 2ks, right? They could have been left with three, five, seven. They could have actually gotten there because we could have at most go to 10, 11, and 10. And you block with Rebecca, block with Sabo, and then you just need to be able to block one of the 10k hits. Again, this takes you to 8. So you just need a 2k and a 1k that you could have gotten from the Sabo. I don't know what the opponent kind of went for it when they could have potentially stole that longer. So GG's. In this match, we're going against Gekko Moira. Um, do I want them to play their Gekko on curve? Or do I just want to be aggressive into them? I might choose to just be aggressive into them, to be honest. I'm gonna mulligan this, look for my searchers. No! You kidding me? Are we with this? We get a Nahami from our life, at least. We're gonna get Sindri. They have the Perona, so the Perona is gonna start taking out my life, unfortunately. Uh, I guess we'll attack for seven here. Sorry, not taking out my life, but taking out the cards in my hand. They're gonna counter out. They're gonna counter out. Let's grab this Luffy. I'm gonna throw away the new gate when the opponent plays this Perona here. Right? And we're gonna just take the hit. Do we throw away the new gate? Yeah, you're always gonna go Perona. Do we go throw away the new gate or do we throw away this ace? New get or ace? New get or ace? I'm gonna throw away the ace. Because we're gonna get a second ace. Nice. Um, We'll go here. I want to develop this Marco. I can't believe opponent is actually just doing that. Just countering out. They're gonna play another Perona. We're gonna throw away the second ace. And now we start going for this Luffy. They still have five life. I guess if they go, if they stay at five life, they're never gonna be a threat of dying. So I guess that's fair. If we take another hit here, we won't be able to play this new gate. I don't know that we actually are allowed to play new gate anymore, no matter what. Okay, opponent doesn't play the Perona. Yeah, I don't know that we're allowed to actually play new gate anymore, no matter what we do. Let's take it. Yeah, let's take it. Uh, we can go Luffy. We can go 5-5. Five, five. We need to go We need to go aggressive. We need to go aggressive. I'm going to pretend. I guess that Perona is still annoying there. It's still blocking. I guess we might as well kill her. We might as well just kill her. Since the opponent decided to block like that. And we'll go here. And uh, we'll save the mana for the two events. They can go Moira into another Perona and into, I guess, a Suru or something. I can't believe... I, yeah, I cannot play this new gate, right? 
But I could play the Marco, I could play the Ace. Can't believe they decided to counter as much as they did. The good thing is that if they play Mora, they actually don't have an attack into any of my units. Just kind of bad for them if they do that. We can play Ace, make it so that Borsalino cannot block. And just attack 6-6-6 six, six, six into the opponent and 7. Yeah, okay, cool. So they go for the they go for the Barona, we'll trash the new gate. They have no attacks into my units. They will have one, two, three units next turn. Okay, they get the Absalon. We'll give you the new gate. We chill. We go ace and we'll have two Dawn still left over. Um I guess we might as well just go here, huh? You're gonna give it to me, right? I think we go ace. I think we go ace here and we save the second Luffy for later. Is two down enough for me to survive? Because we have radical beam, radical beam, bad manners. Two down might not actually be enough for me to survive. I might actually need to keep three down for the triple radical beam. Because we don't have enough counters in our hand. So we might actually have to go Luffy. Have one down to attack into something. Yeah, so let's go like this. Let's go six. Let's go six. Let's go six. We'll go seven. When it goes down to uh, one life, they have to kill me this turn, right? They have to kill me this turn. They can play another Perona, force a card out of my hand, and I can just give them the new gate. If they just attack for six, that's an easy 1k. Do you play the second Perona here? It makes sense. Oh, they don't. Okay, so they don't do it. Um, So I guess we'll give them the 2k. They're just going to attack with this Mora for a billion damage. Okay, so this Moira 7 plus 9 is going to be 16. We can get to 10, 14, 16, right? Am I missing something? Ah, sorry, 18. We can get to 18. Yeah, we can get to 18 here. They didn't even need to use the Radical Wing because I just used the other stuff. Uh, yeah, and this is just game. Opponent, opponent didn't even bother. I guess they don't have any counters, right? So they didn't even bother. But that's why I said I needed to keep three Dawn active. I couldn't play this ace, right? We had to just go for the Luffy. Still force the opponent to, have to take life or give me counters. And then set up for us to be able to kill them back here. Because the opponent had to attack with the Rosalina. So, yeah. That ended up working out for us. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Moira. Aside from Perona, aside from Perona, we can technically rush them down a little bit. Ooh. I'll keep this. I like the Nami to look for this Luffy. We have another Nami from Natsuna. That's nice. Why is my throat all of a sudden hurting me? Yeah, we'll, we're going to play the Nami. We want to play Dynami, so let's just attack them for 8. Play Dynami. Go from there. Uh, I guess we'll get for the Radical Beam. We get Ace. Ace is not bad. Rushing, rushing is nice. So Perona is going to force me to discard a car. We're probably going to discard one of the Aces. I don't think I'm going to be playing two Aces this game. I can see one, but not two. Uh, so Perona is annoying. So Sindri first. That's the Perona. So now they can use their Gecko Moira. Summon the Perona. Make me trash a car. Yep, there you go. I'm going to trash this car. And I'm going to take this hit. Cool. We can play the Marco next turn. Uh, we can play the Marco this turn, sorry. Get rid of the Sindri. Attack for six. 
The Marcus just nice as a, as a nice Sitsuke attacker that's going to be there for the rest of the game. Go like this, pass the turn, go to two life. We have a second Perona? They don't have a second Perona so far. We'll be at seven next turn. Do we ever defend the life here so that we can actually have Newgate come down on turn nine? It's kind of greedy. It's kind of greedy. But I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. Like, we could defend the life here. Defend both attacks. Set up for us to have the nine costs come down. But then that means that we also have to defend on the next turn. But the next turn, we can keep all these counters, right? Yeah, we'll give you the 1k here. Let's give it to them. Let, let's actually do it. Lushi, so you're going to just kill the Toonamis? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay doing this. I'm okay doing this. Um, We have three events. We can keep three done. To make sure that we actually have that life that we need. The opponent already showed me one Ice Age in the in the in their discard. So we can go like this. Three play the Nami. I gave me three down left over. I kinda like this. Let's go seven. Force the opponent to give me two cards. Start giving me cards. Start giving me cards, my friend. Start giving me cards. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go for nine here. Force the opponent to give me three cards. Okay. They're just going to go down to that much, that little life. I'm cool with that. Let's grab the Radical Beam so that the opponent doesn't know that we have Luffy. I mean, they saw us grab the Luffy, right? can't remember if I searched that Luffy. Um, so, the Mora gets back the Borsalino. So, gives them the blocker. Right? They only have one attack now, which we can just counter. And I think we have to counter with the guard point. Just so that... Because we know we're not... Yeah, this doesn't matter. We're going to counter with the guard point. Just because we won't have the done next turn for our events. Oh, well, I guess it's the same thing, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. We'll just bring it back. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for this new gate. Question is, do we attack into their life? Do we attack with this Marco? I don't think we do. Actually, we can, because we have so many events to bring it back. So I think we go here. We go for six, force the card from their hand. Okay, they gave me uh, two cards from their hand, apparently. And we'll go like this and attack for eight. So this is going to force the blocker. And two more cards, if you want to keep the blocker alive. This will let me beat a Rebecca. If the opponent has Rebecca's, right? We can bring this Marco back by just trashing all our events because we can't use them next turn anyways. And we still have one life. Okay, so you're going to give me two cards. It's, it's, a good, it's a good trade for them. Three cards. So the opponent has no two case in their hand. It's what, it's what the opponent just told us. They're down to one life, and we have this Rush Luffy. So if the opponent goes down to zero life, the Rush Luffy can finish it. I guess that's... Yeah, you get the block, and you get to counter out of it. Unless you have Ice Age, you have no way to deal with this new gate. And even if you have Ice Age, you don't have Absalon or another Lushi. So you have to have Ice Age, trash the Absalon from your hand, and also have... Great eruption plus something else, right? No, no, that's enough, right? That would, that would have been enough. Uh, 10? All right. If we take this, opponent can technically go for 15. 10, 12, 13. Ah, uh, 14. So we actually have to counter this, but then the opponent can still go... They will have to go for 10... And then they will have to go for 10 twice. And they got to hope that I don't get a 1k. 
So they gotta hope that I don't get a 1k from my last life. So I have to counter this one. I have to counter this one. If the opponent only attacks for 8, I guess they can go 8. 8 again. Okay. So we still have to counter this one. They can go 8 again and then go for 9. And they just now they're hoping that I don't have a 2k counter in my hand. So if the last card is not a 2k counter, they actually get there. That's unfortunate. Alright, they got it. No, GG's. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't have the last 2k counter that we needed. I still think I like the new gate play. I still think I like the new gate play. Because just because it gets me to 8k, right? Um, I could have gone for... And he also forced so many cards out of the hand. I guess the opponent just figured they had no way to survive. If we took that 10k, then again, we still would have lost because we could have only gone to 14. And the opponent just attacked for 8, for 8, and for 9. It would have been the same thing. It would have been the same thing no matter what, right? So, GG's. In this match, we're going against Gecko Moira. So, Gecko can build a board pretty quickly. And, uh, okay, I'm, I'm down to keep this hand because we have the ESO. So, we have one Searcher. We have two Searchers, right? So, we can go here now. We whiff the first one. We also, saw, we also see two Radical Beams going to the bottom. Which one is more... I, I, I think it has to... Obviously, it has to be YB. I just... For some reason, I was trying to grab the Luffy. That's a lot of not great cards that we saw. This is going to be a Perona, right? This is an easy Perona. Yeah, this is a super easy Perona. Uh, we let them have this and just take it. Yeah, this is like, that was like the easiest Perona of the opponent's life. Question is, do we go for this Machina place? How greedy do I want to be? Honestly? Let's put a let's put pressure. Let's put pressure into the opponent. Cool. Let's just put pressure into the opponent here. We'll play the Nami as well. And I guess we'll get this Luffy. And we have two rush Luffy's. We'll also have a rush ace, apparently. Uh, we are probably never going to play this new gate in this matchup anymore. We're just going to try to rush them down with the Luffy's. They can now go down to zero life, and they know that. They can have the Absalon to kill one of my units, and then I just attack into the other ones. I don't know why play Sindri there when you were always going to attack it, right? You were always going to just go for the Absalon, right? Am I, am, I, am I wrong here? Are you not always going for the Absalon here? Absolutely, right? Yeah, you always go Absalon and you're killing. I guess if you're not attacking to the Machina, then obviously you have to do something else, right? <laughs> um, wow. Okay, so sure. So I need to start keeping mana. Ah, right, man, I need to start keeping a Dawn open, right? We'll go for six. Okay, if we go Makino into six again, we're in a decent spot. If we just go for seven, we're forcing two cards out of the opponent, and we get to keep the Makino. Let's just go for seven. Force two cards out of them. Let's force two cards out of them. Again, if we get them down to one, yeah, that's the 2k, that's the 1k, cool. We do need to start keeping ourselves alive, so that's why I don't want to play this Machino. We can always save her for like the last possible option. This Ace and this Nougat are kind of useless right now. The opponent's going to just try to kill this Luffy. Wait, that's... Fine. <laughs> that's fine with me, right? So, 
5 plus 1 is 6. I guess the opponent has a lot of attacks next turn. I might have to keep both Guard Point and Radical Beam. Which means that the, the best that we can do here is attack 6 twice. Yeah, we're going to have to probably just go 6 twice. The opponent still has 2 life is my problem. So they're going to start hiding behind the blockers. If I go 7 twice... It's nice, but the opponent still gets to stay alive. Hmm. Ice Age? On that? Really? If I go Luffy... If I go Luffy, I still have enough for Guard Point and Radical Beam. And I'm forcing the opponent to give me two cards here. And now the opponent has to absolutely kill me, right? They have to kill me here, otherwise they just lose to the Luffy next turn, even if they have a blocker. They can go for a 15k, I guess. Well, that's an easy counter. We can go 10, 13. 15, 16. We can stop the 15k. Twelve. And they can go six twice. They still lose, right? We go 10, 13. And if they go six twice, we just go 1k, 1k. Yep, that's cute. I mean, you know I had like six cards in my Actually, I have way more than that, right? You knew I had two Dawn open, and I had all these cards in my hand. There's no, there's no world, there's no world where just attacking for 12 was ever going to work. If attacking for 15 was not going to work, attacking for 12 was also not going to work. I guess opponent was just hoping I didn't have any events in my hand. But yeah, I mean, they didn't have anything else that they could have done, I guess. They had no blockers. So, I guess they could have actually. Do they? Oh, they do have Sab. No, they can't get Sabo with the Mora. Yeah, they cannot get any blockers with the Mora, huh? So they kind of had no choice but to do that because they have no blockers in their hand. I, I, I guess I understand. You take the risk and just hope that I don't have it because there's no other way. There's no other way that you're surviving even if you kill the Luffy because you have no blockers. So, like, even if they choose to kill the Luffy here because they don't have any blockers, I can just put everything on my new gate and just attack into them. And just win the game. So, GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games against Moira. A very fun matchup. Very annoying with the Peronas. But we still managed to get there more often than not. We did lose one. But we had to get through the other ones. And again, it was it was the same situation. Where, like, the opponent just had a lot of cards in their hand that had no counter. So, our rush cards just get to get so much value. Even if the opponent is able to kill them. I think this deck does better against Moira than it does against Asakazuki. Just because the opponent doesn't have Hound Blades, right? So they, they have to go for like this Lushi or Absalon to be able to kill my units. But they need to also have like Great Eruption to actually get the Luffy to two costs before they can have this Absalon. So you're asking the opponent to have a lot to actually be able to kill my Luffy, my Ace or my Sanji. Which means that even after you attack with them, they can still stay on the field. And they definitely cannot deal with the Marco. Either one of the Marcos, because after after they kill them, they can just keep coming back, which again is one benefit of that versus Hamblaze or uh the seven cards for Salino that Sakasuki gets to play. But yeah, I mean that's that's the matchup there. Just be aggressive, try to get them down to one or zero life, and just push as much damage as you can. So hope you enjoyed today's games. We have two more videos with White Beard coming over the next two days. So if you like our videos, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post one piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day.